Today we're going to be looking at adding 10, 40 and 11 using our 100 square to help us. So let's start with the number 17. So if I put my finger on 17, where do you think it moves when I add 10? Now can you remember, when we count in ones, forwards or backwards, we move sideways like a crab, but when we move in tens, forwards or backwards, we go up and down like a spider. So if I were trying to do 17 plus 10, I would move down one whole row to 27. So my first sum can be 17 plus 10 equals 27. Now adding 40 is the exact same method except instead of moving down one row we have to move down four rows. So if I start on the number 23, if I move down one row that's adding 10, we've just done that. If I move down two rows that's adding 20. If I move down three rows that's adding 30 and if I move down four rows that's adding 40. So let's go back up to 23 and see how we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. I've landed on 63. So my sum would be 23 plus 40 equals 63. Three. Now notice year one, when we're adding in multiples of 10, my second digit, if I have a two digit number, stays the same. Look, three and three, seven and seven. It's only my tens digit that changes because of course I am counting in tens. Now, what about adding 11? Well, we're going to use a new method. Let's start with the number 35. Here's 35. I know that if I go straight down one row, that will be adding 10, which takes me to 45. But we're not trying to add 10, we're trying to add 11. Now, I know that the number 11 is really 10 plus 1. So I'm going to go down one row to add 10, sideways 1, because it's adding 11. Let's look at that again. 35, down one row to add 10, plus 1 to make 11. Now even if I counted the long way you would see that that is adding 11. Well let's try. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There I am. So my sum would be 35 plus 11 equals 46. Now this time my unit and my 10 has changed.